Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Victoria Weather Meteorologist Ryan Henning with a look at the forecast for Carson City, Nevada. This image here is the state capital of Nevada. Um, Carson City is the capital. It's not Las Vegas and it's not Reno. Uh, it's the one city that you don't go to in Nevada because there's no gambling, just government there. So this is the state capital. Uh, the city is not too far from uh, from Reno. There's Reno, RNO, just off to the north. CXP uh, here on the shores of Lake Tahoe is Carson City. You can see it's a little bit cooler. That's about how it usually is because it's higher in elevation than Reno is, uh, but it's not quite the level of Lake Tahoe where you can see on the south side of the lake there, it's about four degrees cooler. Right now it is clear. Uh, so mostly cloudy skies just off to the north. Um, that's, I mean, that's the long and the short of it. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on in the western United States. There's a big area of high pressure over northeastern Nevada. There is a system uh, developing in the lee side of the southern Rockies. And then we have our next system uh, beginning to churn off in the North Pacific. You can see little troughs here. There's one right here in the plains. And then here's a bigger one out west in the Pacific. We can see a little bit of a ridge developing tomorrow. Should help to keep things quiet for the day. Um, and then that'll carry us actually through the first day of the week, uh, Monday, in case you need a reminder what the days are. Let's take a quick look at the satellites. You can see that this is a system that looks like it does mean business. There's a pretty active cold front uh, pushing out ahead of the main area of circulation, uh, which is a few hundred miles west of uh, San Francisco. Uh, but the leading edge, the high clouds have reached the Monterey Bay area uh, with the cold front stretching down south towards the, the tropics. Um, and we'll work our way back to the model here. So we can see that boundary moving a little further east as we continue. Uh, where this line or the, this jet intersects with that boundary, so you can see uh, right about here. And if we go to the surface map, um, uh, right about here again, that's where the jet includes. And once you have a big boundary that um, that occludes pretty high up, that's a, a signal that the front itself is kind of losing a lot of its intensity. You can see there's still, still a pretty sharp uh, pressure gradient, which indicates some gusty winds, but you can see it's going to start to unravel as this system approaches the coast. A uh, little bit of regenerative activity um, as you get closer to Tuesday morning. And then the boundary reaches the Northern California coast on uh, Tuesday night, uh, bringing some moisture into the Sierras. Uh, there is a threat for some light rain uh, in Carson City and Reno late on Tuesday. Definitely going to snow in the Sierras west of town. Um, it doesn't look like the system's going to have quite enough energy to really be a major rainmaker. Uh, but this is a part of the world that hasn't seen a whole lot of rain. And frankly, I don't want to miss it if there's a chance. So I will say that there's a threat for some light rain late on Tuesday in Carson City um, with this guy. Uh, we can look at the temperatures here. Uh, and you can see it's only the NAM, first off, that has a little bump in precip. It's only about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain. The GFS doesn't really have anything until later in the week. Um, temperatures out ahead of it. Uh, that system, a little bit of a southwesterly flow off the mountains. It's going to warm up a little bit. Low 40s today, maybe mid 40s tomorrow, and upper 40s on Tuesday as that uh, as that cold front approaches. So that's that's what you're you're in for in Carson City. Just a clear day tomorrow with the increasing clouds and a chance of light rain later on in the day on Tuesday. Enjoy your week. Uh, this has been Victoria Weather Meteorologist Ryan Henning.